So the the question the question that we always hear from everyone who is used to playing HCF servers, uh, mo which is most of the PvP community you now, is well, who who are you advertising with? And essentially, what they really want to know is how many people are going to play, because it's like this. It's like the standard model right now with HCF, and it's been like this way for a long time. Is you hire some famous YouTuber, give them like a couple hundred bucks, and they put their trailer on and they distribute that to the PvP populace in Minecraft, right? And basically, the only reason people play on these servers is because they know that there's all of these other people on the server. And they're not really invested in these servers. What ends up happening inevitably is people. Um, they, they join the server first day and, oh, look, there's lots of people playing. This will be cool. And the, a lot of players donate because these HCF servers that constantly come out are obviously about quick cash and making money over like the first opening season. So a lot of people donate first season. What inevitably ends up happening is people are not invested in the server and they just quit. They quit like basically right after they get raided usually. And it's sort of become the norm. And what it is is that people, players who are joining these servers, they're not joining the server because they like the server. They're joining it because they're sort of entered into this um, meta competition with their peers and other players. And what they're trying to do instead of like win at the game is they're trying to be popular among among their other players. It's it, it's really simple. Like logic, when you're, say, a 14 year old dude, you're trying to find friends online and you want to play games with, right? This is what's going on constantly. And the cycle of HCF servers are constantly coming out. Like every friggin' six months, you'll have a new, like, the, oh, way sooner, you'll have tons of HCF servers and a lot of them fail. But the ones that get the good advertising and have a proper investment at the start of their server, and the server's half decent, they'll get. A lot of famous YouTubers advertising their shit for a couple hundred bucks. Put up, put up this advertisement. All of the fanboys and all the players go, "Hey, there's gonna be a popularity contest on this HCF server. I'm gonna go play." Not invested at all in the server, and that's why these servers constantly die. Now, the one thing that we've learned from HCF servers and before that, regular faction servers, is the one thing that keeps people playing. And that's community, and that's why you can see with community servers that have established like a group of people that want to play together and want to play together on a certain server, those HCF servers that have that, they stick around longer than the regular HCF server. Those ones are the ones that are successful. Those are your Hydra and your Parapots and stuff like that. Um, teams, these things are ones that have a community. Now, because we are not an HCF server and because we are purposefully abandoning that model of trying to just be a popularity contest server, we are going to be developing tribes, or the model is anyways, that we're developing it in a community-based way. And what that means is that the community matters and that every player matters. And when you care about the players who are on your server, hopefully those players care about the community as well. And that's why we are going to be very considerate of people making suggestions and also be try to be as responsive as possible to when the public of our server demands something or wants something changed or something fixed. And that's what we think along with our unique um, tribes, basically game mode. The thing that makes us unique is the game mode itself. That's what's going to win it for us along with a community. Now, who knows? Maybe people will like tribes. Maybe people won't like tribes. But I'll bet you that if we try and build our community from the bottom up and really care about our players, that regardless on how popular, popular we are in the short term, we should be golden during the longer term.